Hi, this is Dr. Don, and this video is going to give you a quick start on how to use StatCrunch in my Stat Lab. This is a homework problem in Chapter 2, and it may be one of the first problems you see that requires you to do some calculations with uh, quite a few numbers here. You can do it manually with an old-fashioned calculator, or you can use StatCrunch. The way to do that is to click on this little icon there. It says copy to table, open in StatCrunch. Okay, once StatCrunch is open, I'm just going to show you how quickly you can solve this. We need to find the mean, medium, and mode of these 13 students. And we just go to Stat, Summary Stats, Columns, because our data is in a column. Select the name of the column, and I'm just going to select all of these just to show you we can get a lot of data there and click compute. I'm going to expand this to show you that we have all those descriptive statistics calculated very very quickly. There's our mean, there's our count, there's the median, min, max, and I think if I scroll over here somewhere there's mode to the far right side. So there's our answers just that quickly. Going back to the main menu and then selecting the StatCrunch tab opens this page. And since you're inside my Stat Lab and already signed in, you can just click on this StatCrunch website link and it will take you to the StatCrunch.com website and log you in where you have access to a lot of information. I would point out that if you sign out and just navigate back anytime to www.statcrunch.com you can put in your password and your ID there and sign in with that and you're at the main StatCrunch site. Now I'm again just going to focus on quickly getting started and click on open StatCrunch to bring up the StatCrunch interface that we need. And it is really pretty straightforward. If, if you look at it, it resembles a typical spreadsheet such as Excel or Google. We've got rows and we've got columns. The columns are labeled variables, just giving them a name. And you can change those names by clicking on it and renaming it to give the variable a name that makes sense to you. And then you can enter your data manually. You can open StatCrunch inside my Stat Lab, and when you see the little blue icon, have my Stat Lab enter your data for you, or you can copy the information and paste it into these cells. Just a few more things I want to show you in this quick start. Here I just have some data that I've created, and the logical question is, can I save this data and reuse it? And yes, you can. Just click on Data, Save, give it a name and click save and you note there that it says the data was saved to your my data folder remember that my data folder when you want to load data that you've saved previously you just go to data load my data folder and there is the data that you can load so you can recover things I would point out one other thing once you get doing a lot of analyses and I've got a lot of videos to show you how to do those so don't worry about that right now but you can save those analyses let's just say that I've um, gone in here and I've gotten summary stats on variable one click compute now I've got these summary stats there and I can go to StatCrunch session download and give it a name click download save that file and what it does it creates creates a snapshot of everything I've done to that point so I don't have to recreate it okay I've opened up StatCrunch and I want to recover that session I just go to StatCrunch session upload choose the file find the file where you saved it upload it and then we've got that session back with left exactly where you stop so you don't have to recreate everything you've done. 
Now, I know I breezed through StatCrunch, and it may be a little bit intimidating. I'm sure it is. If you look at these uh, procedures there, how in the world do you do all these things? Well, not to worry. I've created a number of how-to videos that will show you step-by-step -step how to do all the things you need to do in 233 using StatCrunch. Let me show you that. Since I've been teaching StatCrunch to students at Excelsior, I've created over 200 how-to videos on YouTube, which you can access. But I found that it can be a little bit cumbersome trying to find the right video in all of those videos I've made, as well as all the thousands of other videos that are out there. So what I've done on my website, Don Wright PhD, which is just www.drdonwright.com, and I'll give you a link to that. If you link into Business 233, Business 503, click on that link, and it opens up a table that contains all of the videos on StatCrunch, and I've also got videos on Excel for folks who want to use Excel. But all you have to do is to type in a problem number. Just start typing the problem. I'm, I'm just going to start 5.14. Don't have that one. I'm just guessing here. But as you start entering the problem numbers in homework, options will start coming up, and you can hopefully find the problem number that that uh, you're looking for. This is the column for 233 problem numbers. There's the column for 503 problem numbers that may be similar. And then you can just click on that and it will take you to a video that will give you a step-by-step -step solution using StatCrunch for that particular problem. You can also type in keywords there. Let's just say um, mean. See if I've got something on the mean there. And there it'll start popping up. ANOVA confidence intervals for mean, fine mean, standard deviation, etc. Confidence intervals. So you can type in keywords and it'll help you find the, the videos you need to give you step by steps for a particular problem number. So I think that will be helpful to a lot of people. I really hope you will try StatCrunch. Just jump in. Here's another problem you're going to hit pretty quickly in Chapter 2. You've got to get the five number summary, draw a box and whisker plot. There's your data. Let's click on Open in StatCrunch. We've got our data. All we need to do is go to Graph, Box Plot, select the column. We want the information there. And we're just going to click Compute. And there's our box plot, our box and whisper plot. Solved pretty doggone quickly.